Hey, Lori. Yes, we are still at Cha-Cha's Doggy Daycare, and they're playing some ice hockey, still having a great time. You know, we've been talking about parents going back to work at these pups and going on vacation and starting to get back to normal. But these dogs have been used to having their people home. So as you transition back into whatever it is, is that your normal is, uh, you might have to find a place. And this is a great spot for them. Uh, I wanted to point out this little guy who's hiding. Uh, this is really typical of what you see when dogs come in. Yeah, I mean, each dog will experience this transition a little bit differently. Some dogs are high anxiety and they don't want to change. They don't appreciate the change. So we can help them in whatever way they need to be, to understand that this change is normal, something they can get through. We don't want them to be nerve, like Pongo right there is not super excited about having guests. <laughs> but we just, instead of like making him more afraid or we don't baby him or anything, we just kind of help him. He can walk out of there and we just act like everything's normal because it is normal. And that's how you have this whole place really designed. You have it set up in a way that allows for whatever personality of a dog that you have come in here, that they're comfortable. Yeah, absolutely. I think to be fair to our animals, we can't let them sit around and be anxious or let them be destructive and then expect something different. So we're here to help them not be destructive, just help them be uh, happy, doggy life, no, no anxiety. No yeah, no worries. Yeah, so, don't, worry. So don't worry, be happy. As people are getting back into their routines, talk about the services that you offer. We have daycare. Um, we have a puppy program, which you don't have to have a puppy for that. But what we do on that program is to help every dog learn basic things. Like if a door is wide open, doesn't mean you zoom out. Or someone new walks in, you don't just jump on them. We don't bark around all day for no reason. So we help them with some basic common behaviors. Um, when we spend the whole day doing that and they can also spend the night if parents are traveling we're here for that too and that explains the good doggy manners that i've witnessed here today <laughs> and real quick as we wrap up you have an event going on this afternoon yes okay two o'clock today we have an ice cream truck coming so it's going to be nice and hot but it has doggy treats and human treats and everyone is welcome dogs too all right so much fun desaline thank you so much if these guys are having a blast playing ice hockey and that's another thing they do here finding activities to keep the dogs moving and their little minds going and you can tell they're having a real good time. I'll send it back to you.